Welcome to Aptitude Destination. Please pause the video and read the question completely. In an examination, the maximum marks for each of the four papers, namely P, Q, R and S are 100. We are supposed to find in how many ways a student can score 99%. We know that the total marks is for 400 because each paper is of 100 marks. So 99% of 400 would be 396 which means that student has lost a total of 4 marks out of the 4 papers. We'll have to find the number of ways in which he can lose 4 marks. First possibility where he might lose all the 4 marks in just one single paper. That can be either in P, Q or R or S. Therefore, there are 4 different ways. Next, if he loses the 4 marks in 2 papers, he can either lose 1 mark in the first paper and 3 marks in the second paper or 3 in the first and 1 in the second, or 2 marks in both the papers. So there are 3 ways in which he can lose the marks. Now let's see the number of ways we can pair up 2 different papers. We can pair up PQ or PR or PS, QR or QS and RS. So there are 6 ways in which we can pair up these papers. 6 into 3, we get 18 different ways in which he can lose 4 marks in 2 papers. The logic here is simple. Why we are multiplying 6 and 3 is because, let's consider the first pair. The first pair alone can lose marks in 3 different ways. The first case where P has lost 1 mark and Q has lost 3 marks. Second case where P has lost 3 marks and Q has lost 1 mark. And the third case where P and Q have lost 2 marks each. Therefore, every single pair will have three such ways. This is the reason why we are multiplying 6 into 3. So there are 18 ways for two papers. For three papers, the marks can be lost in three different ways, which can be two in the first paper, one, one in the second and third paper, one in the first, two in the second, and one in the third, or one in the first, one in the second, and two in the third. So there are three different ways in distribution of the numbers. Now we can take the sets of three that are possible. It will be PQR, PQS, PRS and QRS. Which means there are four different ways. Therefore, let's multiply four and three. That is 12. So the marks can be lost in three papers in 12 different ways. Lastly, the marks can be lost in four different papers. That can be only in one way by losing a single mark in each paper. Adding all these up, we get 35. Therefore, option D is the right answer.